Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very fun problem for you today. Um, this one I found on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. Um, the poster didn't give the original source of the problem. So um, I think his name was John LP1234. So John, if you're watching this and you know the source, um, please let us know. Um, so if you want to try to solve this um, and you haven't seen it before, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm going to go over the solution. So I feel like I saw this problem like almost like 10 years ago, like a very long time ago. Um, and I highly doubt that the solution that I found today is the same as that one. Um, but it's, it's a very nice problem. Um, okay, so in triangle ABC, uh, the bisector of angle A meets, should be it meets BC at D. Um, M is the midpoint of BC. Uh, the perpendicular to AD through D meets AM at G and meets the line AB at E. And the perpendicular to AE through E meets the line AD at F. And we want to show that FG is perpendicular to BC. All right, so whenever I see a problem that has both an angle bisector and a midpoint of a side, uh, usually what I try to do is I try to draw the circumcircle of ABC, and then the angle bisector has to hit the circumcircle at the midpoint of arc BC. And the reason for that is because um, since AN is an angle bisector, uh, angle BAN has to equal angle NAC, and if two inscribed angles in a circle are equal, then they have to intercept equal arcs, and so N has to be the midpoint of arc BC. Now, since M is the midpoint of arc BC, um, by symmetry, the line NM has to, buy, has to cut the circle in half. So if we let NM meet the circle at a point P, then NP has to be a diameter of the circle. Okay, so I wrote that right there. So as I mentioned, N is the midpoint of arc BC, so PN is the diameter. All right, so now I'm gonna make a certain observation. Um, since PN is a diameter, angle PAN has to be a right angle. So in particular, angle PAD has to be 90 degrees and also angle DMP has to be 90 degrees. And this is kind of true by symmetry um, because since M is the midpoint of BC um, and PN is a diameter passing through it, P, PM has to be perpendicular to BC. Um, but anyways, this quadrilateral um, ADMP, it has two right angles, so it has to be cyclic. Okay, so DAP, is equal to DMP is 90, so it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, and because of that, uh, angle GAD has to equal angle MAD, which is equal to angle MPD. Um, so basically, this is enough to tell us, so that means that triangles GAD and MPD, they both have this narrow angle equal, and they're both right triangles, so they have to be similar. Okay, so GAD is similar to DPM. Um, now, here's the thing. So what do we what do we want to show? We want to show FG is perpendicular to BC. So I kind of gotten away from that. Um, but basically, if um, FG were perpendicular to BC. Well, BC is perpendicular to PN. So basically, equivalently, we want to show that FG is parallel to PN. If we could show that, we would be good. And if that were true, that would mean that angle AFG would equal angle PND. So if we can show that angle AFG is PND, uh, we would be good to go. But we know that um, from up here that angle GAD is equal to angle DPM. So basically that would mean if you look at um, 
two of the, if you look at triangle NAM and triangle, um, I'm sorry, if you look at triangle NDP and FAM or, or FAG, that would mean that two of the three angles would be the same in those two triangles, right? Because um, in triangle DPN, we'd have uh, angle DPN is equal to angle DAG. And then um, if these two lines were indeed parallel, we'd have DFG is uh, DNP. So if we can show that triangle AGF is similar to triangle PDN, uh, we'd be good to go. So we want to try to do that using ratios. Okay, so how can we get some similar triangles involving those segments? Um, so first, we, we want to see if we can get um, similar triangles involving uh, segment AG. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Um, so yeah, so I mentioned that these two were similar earlier. Uh, these two right angle triangles are similar. And so therefore, AD over AG has to equal um, PM over PD. Okay. Um, now, we need, now, so basically, the triangles that we ultimately want to show are similar. So that's AFG. Well, AFG is like ADG, but, but where this side AD is extended to F. So... And, and also triangle PDN, it's kind of like triangle PDM, but where PM is extended to N. So we're kind of interested in the ratios AD over AN, or I'm sorry, AD over AF, and PM over PN. And it turns out, if you look carefully at the diagram, those ratios have to be equal. Um, so, um, if you so first, I'm going to try to show that triangle EFAE is similar to triangle NBD. Um, so angle EAF uh, has to equal angle BAN, which is angle BPN. So if you look at triangles EAF and BPN, they both have to share one common angle. And then they're also both right triangles um, because AEF is 90 degrees by construction and PBN is a right angle because PN is a diameter. So since PBN is, is 90 because PN is a diameter, um, like I mentioned, triangles PBN and triangle AEF have to be similar triangles. Um, so ultimately, we were interested in the ratio PM over PN and AD over AF. Um, but if you look carefully, those two ratios have to be equal because in triangle PBN, BM is the altitude to the hypotenuse. And also in triangle AEF, ED is the altitude to the hypotenuse. So basically point D in triangle AEF corresponds to point M in triangle PBN. And so, uh, which is what I wrote here. So ED, the segment ED is the perpendicular to the hypotenuse in triangle AEF. And, that, and in triangle PBN, BM is the perpendicular to the hypotenuse. So we have to have AD over AF equals PM over PN. And now we're almost there. Like I said, um, we want to combine this ratio with this ratio so that we can show that triangles, triangle AGF uh, is similar to triangle PDN. And we can do that. So if we divide these two, uh, we end up getting, uh, if you work out the, the ratios, you end up getting AF over AG is PN over PD. So we have the ratio of the two sides surrounding this angle is, is the same as the ratio of the two sides surrounding angle DPN. But angle DAM is equal to angle DPN. Um, so basically, if two triangles share a common angle, 
and the sides surrounding those angles are in the same ratio, uh, then the two triangles have to be similar. So triangle AGF has to be similar to triangle PDN. And since that's true, um, so we're kind of working backwards here from what I said before, but that means that angle AFG has to equal angle PNB. Um, and if AFG is equal to angle PND, then um, it follows that FG has to be parallel to PN because those two angles are corresponding angles. And if FG is parallel to PN, well, PN is perpendicular to BC. So since PN is perpendicular to BC, then that means FG has to be perpendicular to BC. So this is a little bit of a tricky one with uh, a lot of sort of hidden similar triangles. Um, actually, when I first solved it, I actually used another similar triangle, which I didn't even need. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit of a tricky one. So if you guys found any other solutions, uh, feel free to share them in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, as always, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.